So let's begin. Let's begin, family. And we say breathing, you see, but uh, let's let's use the the Latin word, you know, res, respiratory system, respiration. You know, Spanish say respirando. Mm -hmm. You know, respirating. When you look at the word to respirate, you find that the word spirit is hidden inside there. Mm -hmm. You see that? Okay? And, and anybody who is, you know, filled with the practical knowledge of spirituality know that breathing is the center and the key to spirituality, to cultivating spirituality. If you want for the spiritual words to become flesh, to become a part of you, you're going to have to learn how to breathe, how to respirate. You see that? Okay? And uh, when we study the body, the physical body and the psyche, <clears throat> you will find that all of your body's functions are either voluntary or automatic. Mm -hmm. Voluntary or involuntary or voluntary. You see that? Except one. You see? Let's, my hands. It's voluntary. I can move it anywhere I want to. I can keep it still, you know? I can move them fast, very slowly. And many other parts of my body, I have control over those activities through my will and my mind. You see that? But then when it comes to the blood pressure, circulating of blood, you see, you know, digestion of food and things of that nature, repair of the body, those things happen involuntarily. Mm -hmm. So all of our bodily functions are either voluntary or involuntary, save, save one of them. And that's the breathing system, the respiratory system. You see, when we're not thinking about it, we are breathing involuntarily. You see that? It goes on, but I have to direct it, think about it, and so on. But we can hold the breath. We can speed it up. We can slow it down. So that makes breathing the bridge between volition and involuntary functions. Mm -hmm. You see that? It is the hub between the two. So if I want to be able to control involuntary functions like, you know, blood pressure and things of that nature, I do it through the breathing. You see that? Mm -hmm. Because the breathing gives me access to the within, the deep within. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay? And the technique for going deep within, we call it meditation. You see? And... To lots of people, meditation is just simply, you know, sitting down quiet, you know, ignoring thoughts, you know, and things of that nature uh, to relax ourselves and so on, not understanding that they're only using 5% of the power of a great tool. You see that? In this Western world, you know, we have been impressed with the importance of learning to, you know, count... To, to conjugate words and parse words into poems and essays and, you know, and lectures, you know, novels and so on. We, we learn how to, you know, uh, the different mathematical, you know, functions and processes and procedures. We learn how to, you know, um, program computers. And the way that is going, pretty soon the computer is going to start programming people. Programming us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if they don't get a hold of this AI thing, <laughs> you know, uh, so those those AI programs are going to be telling people off, you know, calling them idiots. And... <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. So the whole thing is, you know, we have to understand, we have to elevate the position of breathing, the position of meditation in order to really understand it and take full advantage of it. You see that? 
If you go on the internet and Google or Bing the word meditation, you will come across statements that, you know, meditation, especially what is the vogue that they call mindfulness meditation, you know, enable people to grow more, you know, uh, gray matter, you know, uh, white matter uh, cells in their brain, you know, and things of that nature. Something that was thought at one time thought to be impossible. They thought that you were you were grown, you were born with all the brain cells that uh, you you can have. So good news, you can grow more cells, become smarter. You see that. So the whole thing is when you read those articles, there's a striking statement that the scientists who've been studying meditation, you know, they will tell you they don't know how meditation heals, how meditation does those things. We see that. But the truth is, is that there are people who know, have known for the longest time. We see that. And the answer is a common joke about meditation. You know, people who like to make fun at meditation, they say, oh, but meditation is a process of somebody sitting down, you know, watching their belly button. You see that? Not understanding that that joke, you see, covers a great wisdom. You see that? What's behind your belly button? You see that? Is in that area, a little above and beyond and surrounding the belly button, the navel, you see that, which is considered the, the equatorial center of the body, if you're into, you know, psychic, cold, you know, geometry, <laughs> you see? And it hides, that belly button hides a function that in Japanese, you know, medicine called, you know, China, the, 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 the Japanese version of Ch Chinese medicine called Kempo, they call that structure be neat and beyond your navel the hara, H-A-R-A, -A, hara. And which ties into the etymology of the ra force. You see that, what we call ra. They call hara, that center there. The Chinese call it, you know, the tantian, the lower tantian, the lower, you know, uh, burner of the triple burners, the, 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 the triple warmers and so on, you see that. And so the thing is, is that if you are meditating, doing Qigong, Tai Chi, and, you know, martial arts, you know, uh, anything that requires, you know, concentration, anything, you know, you're playing football and you, 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 you got to summon strength. And you know, playing basketball, and you got to summon that rapid, flexible movement. You see that if you're not engaging, you know, the hara or the tantian, which in Western medicine is called the vagus nerve, the function of the vagus nerve, then you are not getting the best that meditation and exercise and martial arts can do for you. You see, I see a lot of people doing, you know, ex, you know, Qigong movements and Tai Chi movements, and they ignore this hara, this vagus nerve. You see that? You see? And, and the thing is, is that, you know, meditation heals. Meditation develops, you know, the, the brain, the nervous system. It repairs the whole body through the activities of the hara, the tantian the lower tantian, or the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the big, the largest nerve, you see that, in the body. And the most important, you see, when you engage it, it sends energy to certain critical parts of the brain, especially the waking centers of the brain, which, you know, play you know, a global, a, you know, uh, uh, an extremely important function in spirituality. You see that? Okay. Uh, there is a chapter in one of the most illustrious books out of ancient Egypt. People call it, the people call it the book, the book of the dead. You see that? Um, it's not the book of the dead. That's the name that the Arabs gave to it. You know, the so-called Egyptians of today. 
Other people call it the path to Meru, becoming awake. You see that? Awakening is the most important thing in spirituality, becoming fully awakened. Meaning, when you're fully awakened, you have full use of the will. When you're awake and when you are in the meditation state. Because when you're in the meditation state, fully awake, you are able to direct your psyche and your mind to heal you and to change your physical and social environment. You see that? Meaning, what, by, your, by your social environment, I mean to change things in, on your job, the school, your performance, people around you, how people relate to you, you know. And of course, you're gonna do this in a in, in a legitimate, legitimate, loving, win-win manner. You see that? You, you gotta learn the rules of using the powers of your will and the powers of the spirit once you learn to awaken and improve them. So you are going to the goal of meditation properly done then is to become a fully awakened being, meaning. We call it Heru. You see that? The fully awakened being. You see that? Because the meditation techniques, you see, where you stimulate the vagus nerve, you see, sends, you know, electrical, electromagnetic energy to the waking centers of the brain. 